Welcome back to KTN Prime. Now, Kenyans on social media have today troll Nairobi Governor Evans Kidero over a tweet he posted in the afternoon. Hidero tweeted that he was forced to walk to the Kempinski Hotel from the CBD to attend the conference as the traffic jam was heavy. And Kenyans went ahead to criticize the governor over his apparent belated cognizance of what has plagued the city for quite a long time. Hashtag CBD to Kempinski is what was trending on social media this afternoon. And just in case you missed the famous, wait, infamous tweet from the governor, this is it. Tuesday afternoon, he tweeted, quote, Walked from CBD to Kempinski Hotel because of traffic. My priority is to reduce traffic. End of quote. He posted the same message on Facebook along with pictures of himself and his team walking. Whoa! The Nairobi governor's newest priority just became to solve Nairobi County's oldest problem. Not my sentiments, really, but that of Kenyans on Twitter and Facebook who immediately threw in sarcastic responses to the tweet, but ones that showed that they were offended. On Facebook, Jemo Momani commented writing, quote, that happens to Nairobi people daily and they cannot afford to walk because they can be mugged and like you who has six bodyguards. It is like you have just woken up and realized that there are jams in Nairobi. End of quote. Mkurima Fama wrote, quote, you cross roads at an undesignated point. Makanjo Hawaku Kuona at Mwas L3R tweeted, good. That's one Nairobian problem under your leadership. Next, try walking downtown alone and get mugged. Hashtag being in touch. End of quote. At George Ngethe tweeted, Kwani Kidero Evans doesn't know how pavements look like. Oh wait, they do not exist. End of quote. At Virus Detected wrote, quote, no doubt a publicity stunt that fell flat on its face. We know sirens normally clear his way. End of quote. Some would defend the governor though, like one Eugene Agengo who wrote on Facebook, quote, that Kidero is not the cause of traffic jams in Nairobi. I wonder where some people get their facts from. Do your research well. Poor planning is to blame. He did not plan for that, end of quote. Movement around the city has for a long time been a nightmare for city dwellers who have to endure long hours in traffic jams. A few days ago, the Nairobi County Government and the National Government's Ministry of Transport unveiled a plan to ease the perpetual traffic gridlock in the city. The plan includes replacing roundabouts with crossroads and installing another traffic light system, which raised questions on how effective this would be given that the existing traffic lights are barely effective and now nairobi has a walking governor one would wonder is this an admission to being unable to solve this perennial menace sharma mani ktn